the International Indigenous Peoples Movement for Self-Determination and Liberation, and the International League of Peoples Struggles Commission No. 10 on Indigenous Peoples, National Minorities, Oppressed Nationalities and Nations, thank our members, partners, and friends for responding to, to the call to join the Global Day of Action for Public Health, not Private Profit. Our statements, videos, photographs, actions, and other contribution led to the successful show of international solidarity. However, we have much to do. Even at this time of lockdown, at this time of limited mobility to contain the spread of the coronavirus, we are challenged to find other and creative ways of offline and online actions to call attention to our plight and forward our position and recommendations, to criticize the slow, if not the incompetence of governments in addressing the COVID-19 pandemic, and to protest the curtailment of civil and political rights. Indigenous peoples should not be excluded and left behind in the demand for relief, food packs, and other aid from government. We should remain vigilant, especially as we continue to receive reports, such as those from Canada and the Philippines, that it is business as usual for oil and mining companies, despite the protests and lack of free, prior and informed consent from affected communities. Even at this time, intrusion by oil and mining companies into the Amazon continue, putting our indigenous brothers and sisters in grave danger of infection and death from the coronavirus. We should remain vigilant as governments impose repressive measures to enforce its stay at home and physical distancing policies, including arrests for those who express dissent or critique to the lack of social economic measures for those adversely affected and the absence of proper and timely information on the coronavirus. Indigenous peoples remain highly militarized. Indigenous peoples' communities remain highly militarized, such as in West Papua, in Northeast India, Bangladesh, and the Philippines. We would like to specifically thank the following organizations, the Youth Forum for the Protection of Human Rights in Manipur, Alianza ng Novo Vizcayano para sa Kalikasan, and United Peoples of Bidipio, and Punganay, the Indigenous Peoples Organization in Cagayan Valley, Anakbayan Canada, West Papua Support Network, In Spirit Creatives NGO, the Indigenous Peoples, Indigenous Women's Net Network in the Philippines, the Northeast Affected Area Development Society in Assam, the Saver Schools Network, Swal Abang Samoro, San Dubo, the Movement of Moro and Indigenous Peoples for Self-Determination in the Philippines, Black Red Guard in the United States, the Free West Papua Campaign in the Netherlands, the Papua Militant International in the United Kingdom, the Batwa Indigenous Development Organizations. And we would also like to thank the following individuals, Ma Maranka Chakma from Bangladesh, and the member of the House of Representatives, Bayanina Party List Representative, Euphemia C. Kolyama. Now more than ever, indigenous peoples should build solidarity among themselves and with other, with other groups to change the exploitative and oppressive status quo.